Hey everyone, my name is Jen O'Sullivan. I'm going to come at you today just to give you the beginning overview basics of essential oils and the top 11 oils that you should probably have if you're just starting out, okay? So um, oils are interesting, right? Because you've probably heard about them, you've probably seen them all over the internet and wondered, do they really work? Um, interestingly, yes they do, I've been using them for over 10 years and even today I get shocked sometimes when I'm like, wow, that worked, I'm so excited. So let's just dive right in and give you the basics. So you kind of can get a, a taste for what these little gems are, okay? So essential oils are essentially the essence of a plant, okay? So much like our blood is to us, an essential oil is to the plant from which it came from. So basically if you like cut open a plant and you can smell it um, and it sort of bleeds, <laughs> oozes out, those are some of the capillaries that are kind of exporting out the oils. And so sometimes you can just, you can just brush a plant, you can just squeeze it and smell it. Um, so from like a, a plant like a citrus oil that's on the outside, the capillaries break from the outside on the rind, whereas some of the plants hold their stuff on the inside. Um, it's very fascinating when you get into where each oil comes from, but generally speaking, it's the essence of the plant. And basically those oils for the plant help, just like blood does for us. So it actually gets to the different systems to help um, help regulate it, to help heal it, to help do all sorts of things for that plant. So when we use it, when we start to understand that um, God made us and plants to work in a symbiotic relationship, right? We need plants to survive just like they need us to survive. And so the, the oxygen that they give us and also the oils that they give us are an element that I think is underused. So we all use their oxygen, but a lot of us don't use their oils and don't even realize that there's a symbiotic relationship that happens there too. So oftentimes when a plant's pheromone is meant to like get, you know, attract something, it could actually help us too, <laughs> okay? Or if something, a smell is meant to you know, repel something, it helps us too in, in the same area. So it's very interesting uh, from an emotional standpoint, but we're going to get into all that. But generally speaking, they help us in much the same way. So when you're using them, people often refer to aromatherapy as aromatherapy, right? So like you can see this diffuser back here is running and I can smell it in the room or I would take an essential oil and just smell it. That's true, but that's only one way to use it. There's two other ways. Another way would be topically. So if I wanted to take this beautiful synergy called Panaway and drip a drop and rub it on location, where I rub it is going to get the greatest effect of this oil, right? If it's for topical use. If it's for aromatic use, or sometimes it's both topical and aromatic, you'll actually get that smell up into your limbic or olfactory system, and it, it imparts certain things such as an emotional response, sometimes uh, just a clearing, like you'll actually feel like everything opens up. Um, aromatherapy is beautiful for the aromatic, but it's really profound when you start learning to use it topically. So I can topically apply a synergy, or I can layer, so I could take that synergy and then layer layer it with another oil and another oil until I have the desired fact effect and then place a carrier oil over that. Now a carrier oil is something that is used to um, sort of dilute the oil. It's not really meant um, in that way, but it does dilute it. So you can take a carrier oil. This is red raspberry seed oil. Um, a lot of people use grape seed. Young Living carries a really good one called B6. It's six different vegetable complexes in there. But carrier oils are really great. Like Cleopatra used them for her skin. And oftentimes we make these gorgeous serums with our essential oils. And that really does help to spread it, but it also helps to case it in. And I think a lot of people use essential oils neat, topically, meaning without carrier, only to realize that a lot of those oils are escaping. And by placing carrier oil on the essential oil that you're using or in conjunction with, it actually helps the oil stay on you longer and it forces them into your body rather than letting them escape into the air. So using carrier oil is a good idea, especially for safety with little kids because oils can sometimes, some oils can be a little bit what we call spicy or hot. So a spicy or hot oil is something that you definitely want to use carrier oil. It's fine to use carrier oil with every single oil you have, but it's not all the time necessary. So um, just so you know, just each oil is different. They all have their own profile. <laughs> so another way to use oils though, which is the least commonly used, but most 
like amazing way to use oils is internally. Now, oftentimes when you go to say a certified aromatherapist, they might give you a regimen of taking certain oils internally, sometimes even like in other places, <laughs> okay? Like, they're, you know, suppositories or pessaries, you know? It's very interesting, but not too many people do it that way anymore. So we're often taking capsules and we're relying on certain types of capsules that are like a little bit thicker to get into our intestinal tracts because that's where the most benefit can be found. So using essential oils internally is as easy as placing, say, a single drop of lemon essential oil into your water. We recommend using glass or stainless steel. Um, it is not a problem to use a drop or two of essential oils in a bottle of water, not, not plastic, but like your glass of water. The reason that a lot of people get kind of curiously frustrated with this is they'll say that oils and water don't mix. That's true if you're talking about a carrier oil. If you were to take a drop of lemon or a drop of peppermint or any essential oil, put a straw into your water glass, drip a drop of essential oil on top, do not shake it, and in about 20 minutes, take a sip, like plug your nose so you can't smell it, take a sip, you will taste that essential oil in the bottom of the glass. The oils have a volatility to them, which makes them want to kind of force their way into the universe. Into the universe. Oils are much smaller, the, particle, the molecules of oils are much smaller than an oily oil and than water. So it actually, yes, while a lot of it will sit on the top, it does disperse. So oftentimes we'll put like a little bit of salt, like um, I use pink Himalayan because it's really, really small micronutrients, micro, micro minerals. And then I will shake the bottle. Now, yes, they're going to continue to float up, but not as much. So using a dispersant like salt is actually a really good way to disperse in water. However, you're not going to burn your mucous membranes by one drop of lemon oil, okay? Peppermint's a little bit minty, so the first time you try it, it might be like, whoo! So definitely shake your bottle. And yes, people that say there's no way you can disperse the oil in water by shaking it. Kind of true, but not really, because the oils are dispersing more than you think, okay? And profound benefits from just doing that. Just just the, the feeling of clean cells. I mean, really, your, your cells will feel good. Like, you'll feel alive and clean. It's a really, really fascinating experience. And just know, hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of users have used oils in their water without any incident, okay? So don't let anybody fear you into thinking it's wrong. It's not. And the thing is, these are called Vitality Line oils. Now, Young Living is the only um, company on the market that has a fully dedicated large line of essential oils dedicated to consuming, meaning you can cook with them, you can put them in your water, you can put them in capsules and take them that way internally. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do. Um, sublingual, by the way, is also considered internal, but realistically, it's going right into your circulatory system right under your tongue. So that's another way to use um, these oils. So they're labeled well for you. So you can see like Panaway is in a blue bottle and lemon is in a white bottle. So that's going to delineate to you which one is which. So you at least have a good understanding. But do know lemon also comes in a yellow bottle that is labeled for topical and aromatic. The FDA just requires companies to practice um, good labeling laws, okay? And once again, Young Living is the only essential oil company that complies with these laws. Many companies will put on the back of their label, okay for aromatic, topical, and consumption. That's actually against FDA regulations. So I'd rather go with a company that actually follows the rules. <laughs> and so just know that the essential oil in Lemon Vitality, which is the, the line of consumable oils, is the exact same oil that is in the actual bottle of lemon essential oil that's a yellow bottle, okay? Same exact oil, just label, labeled different, okay? So those are the three ways that you can use essential oils. I'm gonna go through the top 11 oils that are gonna help you understand and get into purity a little bit because at the end of the day, purity absolutely matters. And I think sometimes, you know, we think, oh, it doesn't really matter because I can seriously buy oils at Walmart now. And why not? Because they're super cheap. And it says pure. And sometimes they even say organic. So shouldn't I be able to just use them? <laughs> um, fact of the matter is, Sadly, no, because there's no regulations on the word organic or even the word aromatherapy or essential oils, none. So I can make something that's fully synthetic from science 
nothing from plants like synthetic toxic chemicals have it smell like it because that's what perfume is is it's a synthetic copycat have it have all sorts of heavy constituents in it that are going to cause you allergens and headaches and all sorts of side effects dangerous side effects and I can actually put a label on there that says 100% pure therapeutic essential oil straight up and I will not get in trouble for it that is just the way it works labeling they do not have the manpower or the time or the ability to actually go after anybody or check to see that what they've labeled is in fact what's in there and I've actually tested several companies and found some to be actually that perfume in a bottle labeled as pure it's scary stuff and that's where you're gonna see a lot of reactions so please you guys check your labels check your brain oftentimes just simply smelling it you know I have to run on the opposite side of the mall um, for all those fragrance stores when I'm there I rarely go to the mall anymore simply because I get massive headaches to smells interestingly enough though I don't get any headaches to essential oils that are pure there are several companies that I've smelled that give me a raging headache and it's because they're using synthetics with a label that says pure okay so it happens all the time if you get this little live well book this actually will describe everything that I'm teaching in one small little fun book but this page here quality really does go into helping you understand the difference between what is an authentic oil which means it's a hundred percent pure single species oil compared to manipulated now about probably 80 to 90 percent of all the essential oils on the market that are not young living are what's considered manipulated what that means is that manipulated they take an oil they'll take say lemon and they'll want to make it a little bit less earthy smelling and a little bit more sweet right so what they'll do is they'll take out a constituent in that oil or add another species right they do this all the time with lavender to make it smell a little sweeter they'll put a tiny amount of geranium in there and it actually changes the synergy of that to help it smell better and people smell it against a pure lavender and they'll say oh I kind of like the, the this one better because it smells sweeter that's typical you guys it's a manipulated and absolutely ethically morally all of that that company feels perfectly fine labeling it as pure lavender because 99.999 percent of that oil is lavender with just a tiny bit of geranium okay it happens all the time but more often than not what they're doing is they're taking say peppermint and you can look at robert tisserin's um web page for this and this is verified companies will often take out a constituent right they'll actually take the final product essential oil and they'll distill the oil again to just pull out some of those harsher constituents and what that does is it creates a final product that is sort of like when you have milk <laughs> that is a two percent right in Europe they look at us and think we're nuts why would you why would you bastardize something right don't you want the whole thing and we're like no we think we're better with our two percent and then we've got all sorts of issues right so the thing is when you look at anything that's fractionated fractionating means they're pulling something out that they they deem somehow bad well in my opinion I think God got it right I think that he knew what was best for us and he actually knew that you know the peppermint oil should stay pure <laughs> it shouldn't be manipulated most essential oil companies manipulate their oils in one of those two ways and so do smell tests I encourage you guys if you love a brand and you're on a brand buy Young Living's and then buy the brand that you love and just do a smell test and you'll see there's something just that doesn't smell exactly right in the other brand like Young Living smells like if you took peppermint and ground it in your fingers and smelled it that's what it would smell like so just so you know purity is a big deal when you get down to the lower ones perfume you can't you don't really find too many companies that actually label them like I said I found two out of the 17 that I've actually tested which isn't very many there's thousands upon thousands of different essential oil companies on the market so just know that the synthetic that that fragrance and scented products that is the majority of scented things out there fragrances okay and so essential oils pure with no adulteration is the very top 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 percent 
Young Living is that. So you can be rest assured, know that these things are really, really pure and safe for your whole family. Um, I have asked friends to, you know, if they ever want to ask me why I don't use any other brand, um, I just wouldn't use it on my kid. You know, I'm okay with myself spraying a chemical here and there if I need to, but I don't want my kid having it, you know, and um, we've eliminated all chemicals, but like I was at the restaurant the, a restaurant the other day and the lady's like using Windex and I'm like, should we leave? It's okay. Like, like a half second exposure to that stuff's not going to kill me, but I wouldn't want my kid around that, you know? So we do the best we can with what we got. Okay. So let's dive into these oils and I'm going to bring up probably the most known oil. The most known oil, if you can guess it, is lavender. Okay. Now the Lavenders Growers Association, I've been asked about this quote many times. This is actually from um, the American Lavers, Lavenders Growers Association and they've actually studied and tested um, the, the, how, how much lavender is coming out of France, okay? So it's kind of an interesting thing because France is the number one or was the number one exporter of, of lavender essential oil. And what I mean by that is they, they label it pure essential oil, <laughs> okay? The problem with that is they found that from an agri agricultural standpoint, there was a hundred times more lavender labeled lavender essential oil exported each year than was actually grown there, right? So it begs the question, like, what are they exporting? And what they found was it's mostly lavender, which is a, a spiked lavender. It's, it's, a, it's a, a hybrid of lavender because it grows faster. It grows more robust. They can get more oil out of it, but it's not the same. And so they literally can just take a little bit of linalool, add it to that lavender, and all of a sudden when, you, when an American company takes that oil and does a gas chromatography mass spectrometry test, this is a test on it, what that oil is, it will read pure lavendula angustifolia, which is the Latin name for the lavender that we're looking for. Only it's not. It's not at all. So it's a very interesting market that we live in and it's hard to trust anyone, but do know I've researched this so well and know that our lavender straight up is Lavendula angustifolia, okay? So you can be sure that you're not getting spike lavender with linalool, all right? Although most lavenders are that. Now, how can you tell? Well, I can tell because every lavender I've ever used in my life, other than Young Living's, I've got a raging headache from. I am super sensitive to, to chemical smells, and if you are too, you probably know what I'm talking about. You kind of don't want to smell any lavenders because your whole life has been riddled with synthetic lavender, okay? So um, just know I love this stuff, you guys. I love this. I use this every day, and it's amazing. No headaches. Okay. Lavender is one of those oils that is considered Swiss army knife in a bottle. You can take this oil and use it on anything for anything. I know it so, sounds so ridiculous, but that's the beauty of essential oils is that there's multiple uses. And so it's great for our skin. I love putting it in face serums and using it just on my skin topically. I love diffusing it. This oil is great to just help with um, easy breathing, okay? And it also comes in Vitality. So you can consume this in the Vitality line. And I love that because there's so many great benefits that lavender um, does for us. And also we all know that it's a great calming oil. We know that it helps support just those calming, um, soothing, relaxing, feelings, okay? The thing is they have studied this though um, during the day and so when it's mixed with your body chemistry during the day, it helps us focus. Did you catch that? Lavender is not just for calming. It helps calm our brain so that we can focus. So you're not going to fall asleep on this if you use it during the day. It just helps your brain focus. So great for test taking. <laughs> okay, so that's lavender. Another really well-known oil is frankincense. Now frankincense is my buddy. Like I love frankincense and if I was stuck on a deserted island, it would be frankincense, <laughs> okay? Uh, this is often called the singer's oil because a lot of times if you were to take the frankincense vitality, which is for consuming, and drip a drop on your tongue and under your tongue both, so you're getting sublingual and above lingual, <laughs> it actually helps coat your throat, gets into your circulatory system, it's very calming, it helps calm you down, but it also helps support your throat. And I love that because us teachers are yapping all day long and we get this dry, raspy throat. And it just helps. It's considered a, um, 
a, a, a resin and so that actually it helps soothe your throat so we love that on the vitality line for the topical though this is great for anything for skin like I said the lavender we put it in our face serum I will put both of these in my face serum so just put 10 drops of each in a 15 ml bottle swirl it around and top it off with carrier oil and you've got this beautiful face serum okay great for rubbing babies too no joke, both these oils are great calming oils. So just put like 10 drops each in a 15 ml bottle with carrier oil. So top it off with like grapeseed or V6 oil, swirl it around to mix it, and then just use about a dime or a quarter size and just give that baby a, a massage all over their body. They'll like love you for it, okay? And that's a good dilution for them too. Okay, so frankincense, beautiful oil. Um, lots I could talk about with you guys on that, okay? So much to talk about, but we're gonna move on. Um, stress away. <laughs> oh, stress away. We commonly joke as women that if, if we could, we'd bathe in it. I would just fill baths up with this and just dip my whole body in. Um, this is a combination of several oils. This is considered a synergy. While these two are considered a single species, this is considered a synergy or a blend. And what that means is that this oil has multiple singles in it to create something other than those sing singles if you were just to kind of combine them randomly. So it has oils such as copaiba, lavender, cedarwood, lime, la you know, just beautiful oils. And these oils together Together, um, Osotea, I mean, there's some really cool oils in this blend. A tiny bit of vanilla, okay? So now vanilla is not an essential oil, and this is not vanilla extract. This is vanilla absolute. So like if you looked at one of the oils called jasmine, jasmine has such a delicate flower that they can't distill it like normal um, oils are distilled or cold pressed. It, it has to be extracted, okay? So it's um, considered an absolute, all right? So the cool thing about that is this is using um, vanilla absolute. So it's a little bit different, but some people don't like the vanilla in it. So, um, but I do, like I love it, I love it. My son calls it his vanilla ice cream. It just, it's fantastic. But we put this on the back of our neck or on our wrists, um, diffuse it during the day or at night. It is great for focus during the day and it is great at night to help your mind calm down and focus and drift off to a more restful night's sleep, okay? So that's what this stuff does and it is Phenomenal. Okay, purification. You guys, I cannot be without my purification. The thing that this thing does is that it helps my stinky feet, <laughs> okay? I have really bad feet, like stinky, stinky, stinky. Uh, oddly, they haven't stank for 10 years. Not kidding you. What I do is I take a drop, one drop, and I drip it on the bottom of my feet and I rub my feet together. R doing that in 20 minutes, my entire body from top to bottom is actually infiltrated with this oil, okay? So there's a curious little um, statement about all of our oils. The, the number one thing about oils is that they're so, 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 so teeny tiny that basically in 20 minutes, all of your cells, your 100 trillion cells, there's 40 million trillion molecules in each drop of essential oil. And in 20 minutes, every single cell in your body is covered by 400,000 molecules each, right? That's astounding. So the cool thing is that I've seen this happen time and time again. I've even been teaching somebody about this concept to only have a fly, a bug, fly into my zone and fly right out. And they're like, what? <laughs> because they don't like me. I produce a pheromone, I can't smell it, but they can. And they don't like me. And I don't like them. So I'm happy. We're all happy. <laughs> they don't like me, I don't like them. Stay off me. The bugs stay off me, okay? And it's not a bug repellent. That's not really what this does. What it's doing is it's changing my pheromones to basically make my, what I smell like, like my sweat, right? Like what I smell like to them. Just not great. They just don't want any part of it. So great, so that's what it does. But in the meantime, my feet don't stink anymore. You can use this on any area of your body that stinks, but just know uh, it's spicy. It's got some lemongrass in it, so if you kind of are a little bit sensitive, use carrier oil. On the bottom of your feet of any 
walking person, you can use any oil neat. I'm not even kidding about that. Possibly like oregano, which is pretty spicy on a on a person who just started walking, like a two-year-old. Put carrier oil on for sure. But do know that generally speaking, people that are walking, that are, have built up calluses on their feet, any essential oil can go on the bottom of their feet neat without a carrier oil, okay? So I use this neat on my feet because it is good, but if I were to do my armpits, Ooh, a little spicy. So you want to actually put some carrier oil on there. Okay, so that's our purification. RC is, this is a very beloved oil because it has lots of different eucalyptus in it. Now, if you've ever gone into a spa, this is the smell that you smell, eucalyptus. And the reason for that is eucalyptus oil is very calming. It has a very um, spa, like, oh, relaxing. And the reason for that is it actually help us, helps us just breathe a little bit better. It just helps us feel good and open, okay? It's a very opening oil. So that's what we use this for. You can rub this right on your chest to smell it and have this really relaxing experience. You can have people rub it on your back. You can diffuse it. It's just amazing. So RC is so good for that. All right, moving on, Digize. Digize is another synergy that is meant to help with digestion. So we're gonna move on to the Vitality line oils now. So Vitality, these are meant for consumption. So even though these have not been evaluated by the FDA, meaning they have not evaluated any claims, they do recognize that anything used for internal use can make a function claim. Meaning I, you know, if I take a vitamin C capsule, they say that can help improve your immune system. So it's not, a, even your vitamin C capsule, Capsules have not been evaluated by the FDA okay so I think there's this misunderstanding of what the FDA's job is but just know um, these statements that I'm gonna make have not been evaluated weighted by the uh, evaluated by the FDA but do know that these are meant for specific things to help aid in the proper health and wellness of your body so for instance Digize helps keep your digestion at a healthful level level okay so basically I like to use this when I'm gonna go out to dinner when I know I'm gonna I would potentially have some problems I don't want to have any problems so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take either this a sublingual I'm gonna rub you know you can rub a, you know this on your stomach if you want even though that's not um, that's not the the vitality line but you can take the topical version or this one and rub it on you can smell it but generally speaking this stuff works best if you actually put it in a capsule before your meal or take it sublingual either before during or after is totally fine but it's really good for just digestive health okay it just helps your body feel better when it's eating <laughs> okay digize i'm not kidding you some people are like mm, digize can't leave home without it another synergy that we all can't leave home without straight up the backbone of everything that we use is thieves thieves is often copied. I think it's the most copied essential oil on the market. Everybody has their version. Nobody comes close. And the reason for that is because a synergy is a synergy. It's like saying my apple pie is better than your apple pie. Well, is it? Let's do a taste test, right? And you can't really say one is going to um, not be better than the other, right? Because they always are. Every chef has their own recipe. Even if you had the recipe, guess what? it wouldn't be the same because you wouldn't be using our oils unless you were using our oils and you had the recipe then it would be the same but that's the curious thing about synergies is that you can't say i need to make a thieves type blend so i'm going to figure out what's in it and i'm going to go buy generic brand oils and do it because the oils themselves create the synergy i have done this time and time again with lavender lemon and peppermint it's a very typical synergy to help you breathe more easier easily and so that synergy I've done with 17 different companies and what's really fascinating is some of the nasty smells that happen the same recipe six six and six equal equal parts of each oil and some of those synergies are the worst I've ever smelt in my life it just smelled gross and it's because they are different essential oils that you're starting with it's like saying I'm using butter or canola or <laughs> it's like it just doesn't work so I will tell you don't try to make your own it's almost impossible and do know that this stuff you can't have without like I don't give this away to anybody my people come over to my house do you have any thieves nope 
I have a stash, but it's my stash. <laughs> so no, you can't have it. And I, I lovingly say that, but just know that this stuff, big, big deal. It, it's so good for your immune system, okay? Thieves is really meant to just help support a healthy immune system. So we kind of take this on rotation. I will actually put a drop in my son under my son's tongue like every third day before he's going out, you know, to school, or I'll do a drop of thieves or frankincense vitality. So just depends on, you know, the day and we do this every day some, somehow. So it's going on the bottom of his feet like in the afternoon or we have it in the diffuser. We don't overwhelm ourselves with it, but we kind of get it used, used you know. Every once in a while I'll do a capsule of this. It's just such a good internal use to use, okay? Um, Copaiba is one of those oils that is often not well known, but I think it's getting some traction because of the whole CBD thing, <laughs> okay? This stuff has the same constituents, actually higher, um, of the known constituents in certain oils that are helpful in calming, okay, calming things. <laughs> All right, so Copaiba is, I'm not even kidding you, one of my favorites. You have to have this in your oil collection. And I know some top oil companies don't even carry this, and I'm wondering, like, why? Because I think they thought, eh, nobody likes that oil. I'm sorry, but this is an all-star. This is an oil that you have to have in your collection. I, no joke. You need this. I use this every day. You guys, I'm generally healthy. I just use it every day. Every single day without fail, okay? It's so helpful for so many different things in your system, okay? And so I'd love for you guys to look into this oil because it's just a great calming oil. It's great for focus and clarity. It is amazing for your just general immune system and health and just well-being, okay? So good one to have. Uh, peppermint is my husband's favorite. I do use this every day as well because you know I'm using my lavender lemon and peppermint roller. I use that to help my airways. Just I just feel so open and clean. I love it. Peppermint, you guys, oh, this stuff is strong but good and it's deep. The thing I love about Young Living Essential Oils that are that is very different, all the 17 brands that I've tested, and I have tested all of the top brands, um, literally the depth and breadth cannot be matched. I have yet to find an essential oil company that even comes close to matching the depth and the breadth of therapeutic action that you can find in, in Young Living Essential Oils. The reason for that is because of the synergy of how they produce them, meaning we control the seeds. We actually determine what seeds we're gonna use this year based on the best constituents that were found in the best batch from last year. And the other thing is our growing and harvesting and all of the cultivation up to the harvest practices are so specific. Um, Gary Young is groundbreaking on how he's determined how to do oils. Literally groundbreaking information that other oil companies and other aromatherapists appreciate. I've actually heard several top aromatherapists say, yes, we give kudos to some of the groundbreaking um, things that Gary has discovered in the world of aromatherapy. They may not like him because they're jealous, but you know, they have to give him props. Props where props are due and it's in his cultivation practices, okay? So do understand that there's things that we do, proprietary things that Young Living does that no other company does, straight up. Like he puts frequency into the growth process. I cannot tell you where or how because I don't know because it's proprietary, but I've seen the photographs of the different soils and the different um, roots and the, <clears throat> the plants, and it's astonishing, you guys. It's astounding to see these beautiful roots that have, have been inserted frequency into, and to see that, and I, I love planting things. I love gardening and all that, and it's just fascinating. And to understand how they um, cultivate the land and how they're able to actually get much more, many, many more micronutrients into their oils than any other oil on the planet simply because of how they cultivate that land. Taking care of the land is so important and if you're wild crafting off of a rock, you're not getting the, the constituents that are consistent and our oils are consistently 
authentic in their depth and breadth of action. And what I mean by that is if I use peppermint, I can feel it deep and I can feel it like for a while. Like it feels good and it does what it's supposed to do. Whereas if I use another brand, I can feel it. It might feel biting and powerful and then it's gone. It doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. So when people tell you Young Living, ah, fine, but it's expensive, mm -mm. drop for drop, this is far cheaper. You guys, I'm a pun penny pincher. Straight up, I will wheel and deal anybody into the ground. I am a great negotiator. I love saving a dollar because that dollar saved means I can invest it somewhere else. This stuff, by far the cheapest. All those other 17 other d brands that I've tried, I'm throwing money out the window because I have to put like 10 drops of their orange oil in the diffuser that two drops would give me from a Young Living Essential Oils. So that to me says a lot. And when I know I'm gonna use Panaway and it works, you're kinda like, oh, that's good. And then you use another company that's like a knockoff brand and you're like, that didn't really work. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, one more oil, or two more oils actually, I wanna talk about lemon. Uh, again, this is a little different because this is distilled differently. It's actually um, cold pressed from the rind. The others are what's called steam distilled, meaning they take the plant material and put it into a very um, compressed and tight chamber and they boil water underneath it and that steam comes up and grabs the little um, essential oil constituents and it comes out. It's just a beautiful process. If you ever get a chance to visit any of our farms, all of our farms are open to public. Anybody can go on them, see the process and, and walk the farms and it's open. We're the only company that allows that for all of our farms, okay? That says a lot too, very open book policy here. But lemon is cold pressed from the rind. That means like how olive oil, it's pressed very hard and it's squeezed out to break those capillaries and make this lemon oil. So lemon oil is very high in monoterpenes and that might not mean much to you, but that just means that it really is good cleansing. So from a, from a vitality perspective, it flushes your system really well. So if you're older, <laughs> I'm 43 and like, you know, as you get older, you're, you're, you're relieving of yourself. Um, you know, your urinary tract tends to kind of trickle out. Um, you start adding lemon to your water and it flushes your system and you just, you feel like a kid again when you're peeing. <laughs> Sorry, too much information, but it just feels good. Okay. And it's, and, and you know that your body is flushing it out. So, um, this stuff is amazing. We love lemon. Last but not la last but not least is Panaway. And I already showed you guys this one, but just know that this is a synergy of amazing oils. There's a misunderstanding of why this caps on here. And I want to just help you guys understand some of Young Living is essential oils have um, childproof caps on it. It interestingly does not mean they're not for consumption, um, like wintergreen, right? Wintergreen has a childproof cap on it. Wintergreen, we all know, can be consumed. It, on the um, FDA's website, it's, a, it's a considered grass. That means generally recognized as safe. So for consumption. So why the cap? Well, I'm gonna ask you to try something. Those of you guys who have wintergreen, go to your wintergreen, open it up, and just taste it. It's the only oil in your entire lineup that is sweet, actually tastes delicious, <laughs> okay? So children have been known to open up a, a bottle of wintergreen and eat the whole thing. It is severely bad for you to do that. That's, that's bad, it tastes like candy. It's the only oil that tastes really sweet. It doesn't taste like powerful, like peppermint. You take it and you're like, ooh, that's strong. You know, So why would anyone eat that? Try your wintergreen. That's why we put these caps on, on these two oils because this has wintergreen in it and wintergreen is wintergreen. It's just super, super, super sweet. So it's meant to be a safety precaution because Oils are not meant to be consumed in that amount of quantity. You're supposed to do one or two drops at a time here and there, not like massive amounts, okay? So generally speaking, anywhere from 12 to 24 drops a day is pretty safe um, if you're doing that and you're mixing it up. So, uh, but that's Panaway. We love Panaway, you guys. People who smell this, they'll open it up and be like, oh, I could eat it. Like you can really smell it and it just smells good. It means that your body physically needs it. So just put it on, um, lather up, put some carrier oil to keep that on there. Um, but those are the 11 oils that you absolutely need to have in your 
in your kit and caboodle. <laughs> um, the cool thing about Young Living is they've packaged this up into a starter kit because they have really done as so much research on trying to figure out what are the best oils for you to start out with. And really this is it. This is where you need to be starting as you, as you move forward into your oil journey. You need these as your foundation toolkit, okay? The cool thing is that this is $320 worth of stuff. It's 11 oils, you guys. $320 for an investment in essential oils to your health and wellness is really inexpensive. And I love the fact that um, they have what's called wholesale pricing. And that wholesale membership is kind of like Costco membership, some of those high, you know, big box club memberships, but your, your kit is your membership. So what they've done is they've created this beautiful kit that includes all of these 11 oils. And it comes in this fun little case. And you get all of these oils for $320. You get all sorts of... Um, of stuff like you're gonna get ninja red packets we're gonna do a whole class for you on ninja red because it's incredible you're gonna get little sample packets to share with others samples of oils that you haven't maybe tried like peace and calming you're gonna get mini bottles I use them as tap bottles to carry in my purse or to hand to a friend who might want to try these things um, you're also going to get a diffuser so the cool thing is you get to pick what diffuser you want the price goes up based on if you want a bigger you know larger beautiful you know more fancy diffuser but you get to pick the home diffuser or um, or the the, the dew drop diffuser and just decide kind of what you want to have that comes with this and the cool thing is to give you over 55% off and I don't know any company that says come join and be a wholesale member oh and by the way we'll give you 55% off it's like unheard of so the whole entire thing you get 11 oils plus a diffuser plus all that free stuff plus you get access to my private group if you join through me or if you're joining through someone else you would get access to their private customer relations group and that I think is is just priceless all of us who do oils all of us who, who share oils have a private customer only group and it actually helps you kind of get started and ask questions and kind of feel what's going on they give you all of this for only hundred and sixty dollars you guys it's crazy what I'm gonna encourage you to do if you don't have $160 is to go on Craigslist, straight up sell some stuff. You can easily go into your garage and find $160 worth of items to just dump. Get rid of it. And I will tell you, out the door with tax and shipping, it's 180. So give yourself a little bit of padding, maybe 200 bucks, so that you can add another oil or something fun, like the makeup. We have a whole makeup line, which is so, so good. Just know, give yourself about 200 bucks and seriously, go to your garage, sell some stuff, and buy your oils because this stuff will change your life for better. <laughs> okay? We want to we want to know what life we're living. We want to live on a very clean and pure. So many of us are going on that clean and pure life, and just know that that hundred and sixty dollars, hundred and eighty dollars out the door, is well worth the investment because it's half price. It's over half price. That diffuser alone is $65. You guys, that alone will just be like mind blown when you get that, okay? So if you don't have an essential oil lady and you're watching this because you found me online, you are more than welcome to sign up through me. It's sparkdroppers.com forward slash Jen. Um, if you have a friend who's tagged you in this, you're welcome to tag any of your friends in this class. If you have a friend who is doing oils, please sign up with them because it's so much fun doing this with your friends um, and again I would be honored and thrilled to invite you and welcome you into the Young Living family uh, and if you are learning and you already signed up and you're just getting started or if you've been doing this for a long time you can do one of multiple things which on my spark dropper site even though that's my team site there's actually a lot of free information on there so there's a quick course on there that can get you kind of Everything I just taught you is on that <laughs> site, okay? So sparkdroppers.com forward slash quick course. Or you can very simply um, sign up for the quick course. I mean, there's a 30-day free, fully free 30-day 
e-course that will go into your inbox every single day. Um, and I, I, I hope this benefits you. I hope you understand just how much I adore these and want to share as much content as possible. I love you guys. I'm so thankful that you took the time to watch my class today. There's so many videos and things that you can join us over at the Human Body page or on my YouTube channel at jenstips.com. Just lots of free education, okay? So one of the things I love doing is giving as much free content as possible. And I hope this was helpful. A nice little 45 minute class to um to get you into oils all right you guys thanks so much talk soon bye